All right, what are we doing on Mr. Robles? It's, uh, we have an agreement, Judge. Okay, and there is a is there a plea as well? Yes, uh, yes ma'am. All right, so we'll take up the plea first and then we'll do the motion to revoke. And I'm assuming we're only pleading on the 8262? Yes, ma'am. That's the all right, court is calling 2023 CR 8262 State of Texas versus Christopher Robles. Could I have parties announced for the record for the state? Hank Wilkins for the state. Defense. Attorney Alvarez Fellow. All right, and probation, there's no application. And you're Christopher Robles. Yes. Counsel, have you received all the discovery and did you review it with your client? Yes, Your Honor. Court will find that the state is in compliance with discovery. Mr. Robles, I'm showing you what's entitled True Bill of Indictment. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes, Counsel, do you waive the reading of the indictment? I do, Your Honor. State, are you proceeding on the indictment as presented? We are, Your Honor. Did you understand you're charged with the offense of driving while intoxicated third or more? That's a third degree mm -hmm. felony. Range of punishment is anywhere from two to 10 years in prison and up to a $10,000 fine. Did you understand? Yes. If you have a plea with the state, the court does not have to follow your plea. If for any reason the court does not follow your plea and gives you more than you bargained for, the fact that you entered a plea will not be used against you and you will be allowed to withdraw your plea. Did you understand? Yes. Counsel, has your client been able to provide you with any defenses? Sure. Do you believe he has a rational as well as a factual understanding of the charges against him? I do, Your Honor. Do you believe he's currently competent and was legally sane at the time of the offense? Yes, Mr. Robles, has anyone threatened you, coerced you, or placed you in fear to get you to enter this plea? No. Anyone promised you anything other than the plea? Are you satisfied with the way you've been represented? Yes, sir. Are you a U.S. citizen? Yes. Court will find that defendant has knowingly and voluntarily waived his right to jury trial. According Showing to the plea, punishment must be assessed at five years in the prison. Did you understand that to be the plea? Yes. Defense? Yes, sir. State? Yes, Your Honor. And I should have notated on there, I, if this is to be concurrent with cause number 2020. CR one, two, three, four, eight, which is the MTR that we're going to take up later today, Judge. All right, is that correct? It is, Your Honor. All right, then does everybody understand that to be the plea bargain agreement state? Yes, Your Honor. Defense. I just there's one other thing <laughs> I forgot, Judge. I'm sorry. Yes. Uh, the state had agreed to TIC the evading arrest that um I know that the dismissals are filled up, but all right, what's the cost number? Yes, ma'am. So that's gonna the evading with the vehicle is 2023 CR. Nine two five three, um, and then we're going to see. I see a, a racing on the highway, which is County Court seven one six seven three one, and an ABI, which is uh, cause number CC seven one six seven three zero. All right. So is that everybody's understanding of the agreement? State. Yes, Your Honor. <laughs> That's okay. Defense. Yes, Mr. Robles, do you understand that to be the agreement? Yes. Sir showing you the waiver of appeal paragraph. Did you review that paragraph with your attorney? Did you understand it? And did you sign it in both places? Yes, did you understand by signing that you're waiving your right to appeal? The only items that can be appealed are written pretrial motions that have been filed, heard, and ruled upon by the court. Did you understand? Yes, Counselor, have there been any such motions? No, no. Then to the offenses charge, how do you plead? Guilty, not guilty, or no contest? State any evidence to support the defendant's plea? Yes, Your Honor. I offer State's Exhibit 1 and the attachments. No objection, Your Honor. Showing you what's entitled waiver and consent to stipulation of testimony and stipulations. Did you review that document with your attorney? Did you understand it? Did you sign it in all the appropriate places? Yes. You're going to have to speak up. Yes, ma'am. Again, did you understand you have a right to jury trial, a right for you or your attorney to cross examine? and confront any witnesses the state would call in the right to remain silent. Yes, court will find that defendant has knowingly and involuntarily waived and consented to stipulation of testimony and stipulations. Court will accept into evidence states exhibits one and attachments. And before we go any further, there appears to be a correction in the plea paperwork with regards to the indictment, is that correct? Yes, Your Honor, the, um, I'm sorry, the one of the numbers uh, in the cause number for one of the judgments got transposed. So I, I uh, correct that, I didn't draw your attention to that, I'm sorry. So oh, no problem. So with regards to the indictment, is there a request with regards to the indictment? Yes, ma'am, I'd like to orally amend uh, the indictment. It should be, 
and uh the cause number in Wilson County. Yes, ma'am. Uh and what is the the cause number is and the indictment is 10-07-0629-CR. And are you asking to change the cause number to reflect the judgment, which is 10 0 7 0 2 6 9 C R C? Yes, ma'am. No any objection. objection? No objection. Sure. Do you have any objections to that, Mr. Robles? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, the court will find that defendant has knowingly and voluntarily waived and consented to stipulation of testimony and stipulations. Mm -hmm. Court will accept into evidence states exhibits one and attachments and review the same. All right, after reviewing states exhibits one and attachments, the court will find there's sufficient evidence to find you guilty and the court will find you guilty. Are you proceeding with sentencing? We are, we are. Anything you wish to say on behalf of your client? Yes, just I have his mother here that wants to testify. Like, okay. Like they're calling his mother, so be Robles, please. All right, Ms. Robles, if you'll come forward. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for being patient with waiting today. It took, took a while. Yeah. Thank you for listening. I just wanted you to know. Uh, let me have you raise your right hand for me, okay? okay? Could you raise your right hand? Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you give will be the truth and nothing but the truth? So help you, God? I do. All right. You can lower your hand. State your name for the record. Sylvia Robles. All right. And there's something you wanted to say? Yes. I just wanted to accord in your honor to know that I really believe that Christopher's behavior had to do a lot with unfortunate circumstances that happened in his life. Mm -hmm. The first was he, the death of his girlfriend, pregnant at the time, six months, she died in a car wreck. And I think that begun his unfortunate mm -hmm. things that happened in his life. So that was in April. In May, our home literally burned down and him being a heavy machine operator, helped demolish the whole house and that. So I think all of that didn't help his his way or was irrational in thinking of everything that happened to him. It didn't help. No. No. I appreciate it. You need to know something about him. He does have a child with his ex that's uh, 10 years old now, mm -hmm. which of course he wants to continue to be in his life. And he's in very good terms with his ex and, and his son. All right. Thank you so much for letting me know and giving me some insight. Thank you. All right. Thank you. And Judge, just mm -hmm. uh, she did mention that uh, he does have an ex-wife, uh, Stephanie Bookout, uh, who they have a 10-year-old. She she wrote a letter to the court. I don't know if you would uh, right. be so kind to read that letter. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Yeah. any objections? Go ahead. No objection, Your Honor. They share a 10-year-old in custody. Oh, her name is Stephanie as well. Yes. And she spells it correctly. <laughs> Only Stephanie's with the PH understand what I'm saying. Thank, Thank you. you. And just some other words on behalf of Mr. Robles, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. uh, his girlfriend, who was six months pregnant at the time, passed away April 8th. The offense date of the DWI third was May 3rd, 2023. Mm -hmm. uh, Subsequently, obviously, his mother had testified regarding the loss of the house, it being uh, burned down. That that was right after that, and then um, he picked up these new charges. Uh, my client's obviously here taking responsibility for his actions. No excuses. Uh, I understand in talking to him that it was a difficult time, uh, but in addition to that, obviously, he, you know, he he put the community in danger uh, by his actions, and and he knows that. Uh, I believe Mr. Robles has a few words to say to the court. All right, do you want to raise your right hand? Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you give will be the truth and nothing but the truth? So help you, God? Yes, Your Honor. All right, you can lower your hand. State your name for the record. Christopher Robles. All right, what would you like to say? I uh, just first want to apologize to the court and to you, Your Honor, for uh, first messing up on the original probation. That definitely was not my intentions by all means. I wanted to finish that and get on with my life. Just the, this year has just been pretty, pretty much hard, hard on me, and I fell into a a hole and I kept on kept on digging pretty much that I was trying to get out of and trying to continue um, pretty much fell into a depression that I still somewhat am take, taking day after day but I know that I should have been a stronger man father son um, everything that I should be and 
take this as a learning lesson as much as I can day by day. And I want to grow stronger from, from this, just this, that moment or through this year was definitely not my intentions of going this route at all. Okay. All right, anything else? Well, there's a couple questions, Judge. Oh, sure. Uh, Mr. Robles, my name is Hank Wilkins. I'm one of the prosecutors here. So if I ask you something you don't understand, just let me know and I can ask, ask it a different way. Yes, so do you remember when you were sentenced on the initial evading with a vehicle in um, April of 2022? Yes. Sir. And that was for deferred, right? That wasn't straight probation. That was for deferred? Yes, sir. And did your attorney at the time explain to you that that's, you know, you, you traded something for that, right? If it's straight probation, it might be for a shorter period of time, but it's conviction. If it's a deferred, it's for the whole, you're open to the whole range, right? Do you remember that? Yes, sir, as best of my knowledge, yes. Okay. And then a little more than a year later is when you got that DWI third, right? That was May of this year? Yes. yes. Okay. And then more recently, in September of this year, you got arrested again, right? That was for the evading with the vehicle yes. and a couple other charges that we're going to dismiss too, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So kind of a few different incidents there, right? Okay. I'm sorry, I can't hear you, sir. No. Yes, sir. Or ma'am, sorry. Okay. But those are all my questions. Thank you. Okay. Any other questions? No follow-up, Judge. All right. Any other witnesses? No other witnesses, Your Honor. Just, just and, uh, uh, for the record purposes, his father is also here in the back supporting it. All right. Thank you. All right. And probation. I know I haven't called the probation case yet, but what was the probation's recommendation on the probation case? On the probation case, the recommendation listed was for status. All right. So here's where I am. And you know, whenever we were at judges school, they should, they always tell us say as little as possible on the record, because then nobody will have an idea, but I like to communicate with people because I think if you understand where I'm coming from, because I want you to know that I listened to what your mom said, but I also know there's some major issues with you, right? Anytime somebody's on probation in this court, deferred adjudication, I always ask them if there's anything else they need help with. If there are any other problems, I always tell them if there's a problem with probation, they feel like they're not addressing it, they can always come to me. So that's part of your problem with me following the recommendation for probation for SATA, right? My other problem is that I read the police report and in the police report, screwdriver in the vehicle, right? Yes. yes. And the screwdriver is being used to turn on the vehicle and the screwdriver is being used to turn on the vehicle. No, no, no. So that's a problem there. And then the other problem I have is the racing. And that's an issue. And then we have the, another evading arrest. So looking at that all in totality, because sometimes when I get new information, I always keep an open mind. And when I get new information, hmm, maybe there's something else I do. But in your case, the reason why I'm not going to say, you know what, you need inpatient treatment, we're going to give you inpatient treatment, we're going to go with that, is because you have this evading, the state is taking the evading in consideration, you have racing, they're taking that into consideration then you're on deferred for evading arrest and now we have a dwi so that's why on the driving while intoxicated third or more i'm going to follow the plea bargain agreement i'm going to find you guilty sentence you to five years in the prison give you credit for any time served there's a two-year driver's license suspension this will run concurrent with 2022 cr 12348 Taking consideration 2023 CR 9253, caddy card cause number 716731, 716730. If you would like, I could recommend for you the therapeutic community. Now, I can't force them to place you in the, in the therapeutic community. If I could, I would. So what ends up happening is I can recommend it and request it, but you'll have to ask for it as well. 
if you don't ask for it, they're not going to give it to you. If you ask for it, maybe they'll give it to you. Maybe they won't, but they'll see that the district court judge is recommending that. So maybe they'll do that. It doesn't increase the length of time that you've been at the prison. At the prison. So for example, let's say they want to parole you at three years. They're not going to say, ah, we would parole you, but we're not because you haven't completed the therapeutic community. The therapeutic community is just something to help you hopefully with your sobriety and if there's any other mental health issue or trauma going on, you understand? All right, so would you like that? Yes, ma'am. All right. Is there anything else in that case with regards to sentencing? All right, I'm gonna show you what's entitled trial court certification of defendant's rights to appeal. Did you review that document with your attorney? Did you understand it and did you sign it? Yes, ma'am. All right, because that's a plea bargain agreement, because I followed your plea bargain agreement, and because you waived your right to appeal, you do not have the court's permission to appeal. And because it's a felony conviction, you're not allowed to own or possess any weapons or ammunition. If you have a question over what a weapon or ammunition is, you'll need to speak to an attorney. Do you understand? Yes. Next, we're going to move on to the motion to revoke. We're going to go on the record in 2020 CR 12348. I'm going to show you what's entitled state's motion to enter adjudication of guilt and revoke community supervision and state's motion to supplement pending motion to enter adjudication of guilt and revoke community supervision. Did you review that with your attorney? Yes. Did you understand it? Yes. Are you the same Christopher Tomas Robles? Who's placed on deferred adjudication in 2020 CR 12348 for the offense of evading arrest detention with a vehicle on April 4, 2022, for a period of five years? Is that you? Yes. All right, state. Violated condition number one on or about the third day of May 2023 in Bear County, Texas, the defendant, Christopher Tomas Robles, committed the offense of driving while intoxicated in violation of condition number one. How do you plead to that? True or not true? True. State. Yes, ma'am. Uh, on the uh, this is on the state's motion to supplement. Judge uh, violated condition number one on or about the eighth day of September, twenty twenty three, in Bear County, Texas. The defendant, Christopher Tomas Robles, committed the offense of evading arrest or detention in violation of condition number one. How do you plead to that? True or not true? True. Violated condition number one. On or about the 8th day of September 2023 in Bear County, Texas, the defendant, Christopher Tomas Robles, committed the offense of assault in violation of condition number one. How do you plead to that, true or not true? True. And, Your Honor, we waive the other uh, violations alleged in both of the motions, Judge. Any objections to the waivers? No, no, Your Honor, excuse me, no objections. All right. Did you understand by pleading true to violations one, one, and one? The court could find it true, grant the motion, find you guilty, sentence you up to 10 years in prison and up to a $10,000 fine. Yes. Knowing that, do you still wish to plead true to violation of conditions one, one, and one? Yes, Your Honor. Court will find violation of conditions one, one, and one true. Is there a proposed agreement? There is, Your Honor. We're asking uh, that you um, grant the motion, uh, revoke the defendant's probation. Uh, we're asking for uh, five years to do. Uh, to run concurrent with uh, the driving while intoxicated, the uh, 2023 CR 8262. Um, and we're going to take into consideration the same cause numbers as in the other case, Judge. All right. Is that the agreement? That's our understanding of the agreement, Your Honor. All right. Mr. Robles, are you asking me to follow that agreement? Yes, Your Honor. Are you waiving your right to appeal? Yes, Your Honor. All right. What the court will do is the court will find violations one, one, and one true. The court will follow your agreement sentence you to five years in the prison. This will run concurrent with 2023 CR 8262. The court will recommend the therapeutic community. The court will give you credit for any time served. All right, is there anything else with regards to uh, that cost number? Okay. I'm gonna show you what's entitled trial court certification of defendants rights to appeal. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? And did you sign it? Yes. Because this is plea bargain agreement, because I followed your plea bargain agreement, and because you waived your right to appeal, you do not have the court's permission to appeal. Because this is a felony conviction, you're not allowed to own or possess any weapons or ammunition. 
If you have a question over what a weapon or ammunition is, you'll need to speak to an attorney. Do you understand? Yes. All right, we can go off the record. Here's the thing. When you go to prison, there are going to be some people who are focused on their sobriety and some people who are not. You can actually make alcohol at the jail. You can make alcohol at the prison. I'm sure you probably already know that. Do not get caught up in that because if you get caught up in that, what's going to end up happening is when you get out of uh, prison, you're going to be right back where you are. And time when your ground, when your feet hit the ground from prison, you need to go into some type of inpatient treatment. And if you were to do lifetime recovery or any of the, the other treatment facilities, they will address any trauma issues that you will have. You understand? All right. Good luck to you. Okay. Thank you very much. You're happy welcome. Holidays. Oh, happy holidays to you too. Thank you, Judge. You're welcome. Happy Yes. Have a good day. All right. Thank you both for coming in.